Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport takes us to California, where the positive news comes to us by way of Moore Park College, and they are adding a wrestling program. They've already hired a head coach. The athletic director, Vance Menakis, uh, called and told me that he had hired Lindley Kissler. Yeah, Lindley Kissler, that of the Kissler family. We're going to get into it with them this morning. Lindley, welcome to the Nike Hot Seat. How are you? Good, good. Good morning, Scott. It's been a while since you and I have seen each other, and even then when I was wearing the Hawkeye costume, I doubt very much you would have recognized me and <laughs> from then to now. But you got to the University of Iowa in 1983. Uh, your brothers had been populating the wrestling room there as well. Um, you have a very talented uh, sister who is the prima ballerina at the New York City Ballet, and uh, Prima being the number one dancer, by the way. Uh, congratulations on a very successful um, career f uh, during g during college and, and since. Well, thank you so much. Let's talk a little bit about Moore Park College launching a wrestling program. You've got a lot of work to do in a short period of time. It starts this fall. Yes, uh, it is. It's uh, going to take... Uh what they call whole village, right? The whole community. It's all rallied behind us, though. That's good. Um, you know, we have uh, pretty much it's a multifaceted approach, trying to get the fundraising going as long as well as, you know, getting the promotion out there and the awareness that we did reinstate the uh, program and myself. And, um, you know, thanks to you and Takedown Radio, we're able to get that out as well as to all the local coaches and the interested wrestlers that have already tried applying. So uh, that's uh, great news on our end. And we're looking forward to uh, having a successful program, trying to bring and infuse the Gable legacy and the Iowa Hawkeye tradition back it. here in the local area. In California, that much richer for Moore Park reinstating this program. Now, it has a great tradition. It was on the mat for 41 years before financially needing to be uh, discontinued. At least that's what they said back in 2008. So we take a look at that history. Five state championships, 27 conference titles. Uh, Monacus is uh, excited to get this thing going again, isn't he? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's uh, had me in a lot of meetings. He's uh, called in a lot of supporters uh, into meetings as well, some of the coaches. And uh, we're just kind of knocking around how we're going to go about this and get our facility, get our mats, the gear. Um, you know, all this is happening within really the month before uh, summer where all the high school coaches and the kids go off and trying to scramble all the those wrestlers that were kind of looking to commit to other areas, other junior colleges, or even division two, threes, and uh, looking, letting them look back at us and, uh, you know, trying to bring them back into the local area, build it all up again. You've had an interesting career. You've, you've been touched by two really great coaches in Bobby Douglas, one at Arizona State, uh, and then, of course, uh, your time with Dan Gable at the University of Iowa. And you were really in the thick of things, if you, if you remember back some of the great guys that uh, were on the teams that you and your brothers were on, a lot of them now are head coaches of their own programs. You've got to be awfully proud. Oh, awfully proud of every one of them. Every one of them in the Big Ten and even out here, the Zaleskis and, and Randall, they've all had successful programs infusing the, the Iowa tradition of uh, creating a positive wrestling um, you know, environment for the kids. And it's Really, just that intensity and in and in, in getting the right kids in the room, uh, and getting the best effort out of each of them. That you know, you look at the practice and it just is a takeoff right into a tournament. There's a easy transition where it's very difficult for other programs because you just don't have the the bodies in there or the intensity. And I think that's really what it takes, and that's what we're going to infuse back at Moore Park Community College. Lindley Kissler, our guest. Yeah. And it's uh, it's an eight year absence for this program, but they're going to hit the mats firing on all cylinders this fall calendar year 2017 yeah. to challenge for a, a, a championship and, and also to state championship, and then also looking to place kids uh, at at universities and colleges across the country because it's a two year program, and that that's always frustrated me about uh, community colleges and and. Uh, uh, junior colleges, things like that, where you only get to touch them for two. Am I correct on that? Yes, it's true. You know, they might get a, a third, 
if they extend on. But yeah, it's it's really just a transition, but it's really a safety net too. You know, the the whole thing is to really build that legacy from a, an educational standpoint, so they can go on get good jobs and and that on the educational side, but also, you know, many of them haven't really achieved their goals. Some of the wrestlers for whatever reason, injuries or grades or whatever development. And so the junior colleges really provide that, you know, to that safety net for many of these kids. Lindley Kissler, I guess. Lindley, we go back to your history and I'll ask if it's easy to transfer that knowledge or not, but two time big 10 champ, a three time conference place winner, two-time NCAA Division I All-American. Now, looking at all that, we also look at your time as an Olympic trials qualifier. Um, how much of that can you transfer over given the short period of time that you have with these kids? And I would imagine it probably has something to do with the kids themselves as well. Right, right. It's retaining the best kids in the area, first of all, and helping coaches in the area develop the kids as well. So it's an easy transition from their rooms into our rooms. But, you know, you can really infuse it. We've already seen with all the Hawkeyes that have gone on to, um, you know, the uh, college level, that intensity, the positive atmosphere in the room and the success, getting the right kids, making sure that they're aware how to win the most common positions, you know, that come up in matches. Um, that's the that's the key to it. You know, Gable taught us one one valuable lesson, and that was really mad awareness, preparation, and focus. And I think, you know, we all talk about, you know, like moves, preparing for the moves, the transitioning in and out. But it's those other intrinsic things that most coaches don't talk about that really lends to the winning in those one-point situations. Coach, talk to us about your ties to the California high school system. I know you're awfully proud of California wrestling as a whole. You guys came from Riverside, but where does where does uh, where do your ties uh, come into play here as far as high schools and and uh, developing those pipelines for more part? Well, it all started. We created the uh, wrestling program at Notre Dame High School, where we were successful in there. But we always always look towards a second practice after our first practice at the Notre Dame High School. It's the only way to continue. And when the high school shuts down, there's no continuation in the programs. There was no uh, workout. So we always look to the junior colleges. We went to East L.A. and We went to Mount Sac Junior College. Okay. And uh, we were fortunate with uh, the head coach, Wananabe, and Larry Morgan was out there. So we got a, a good education outside of just being quick, fast, but we got uh, the technique that we needed to help us accelerate. And it's the same thing that we're looking at doing here, having uh, open practices for people to come in, young wrestlers, and being able to see what the expectation is, the intensity, how to wrestle in and out of positions, which then when they go back, they become the leaders and instructors in their room, and it just builds a better community more coalesced of uh, what the expectation is. What are the time. chances we'll see you uh, bringing into the room somebody like uh, uh, Tim Vanny, for example? Oh, I would love that. I'd love Tim Vanny coming in. God, I'd support they're, they're, that hundred percent. I know, right? That'd be amazing. <laughs> That'd be amazing. amazing. He's so good. he's so talented. He, yeah. I don't think he's he's taught ten percent of what he knows. A lot of what he does is intrinsic. Right but so much right. fun to watch and uh, such a bright a bright spot in the history of our sport. So, Coach, I know you've got your challenges, um, an opportunity right now for those that are watching. What would you like to tell the young people out there that are looking for a home? I'd like to tell them that Moore Park is the place for them. It's a beautiful location. It's uh, the school itself uh, provides that safety net. It's, uh, ranked number two in the state from a, a standpoint of the education and legacy, getting them to a four year or, or going beyond that. I had two of my daughters go there once at UCLA going into law school. Um, it's just been fantastic, uh, as a place to be as well as we can teach any of these kids, uh, the fundamentals bring the Iowa way back right here in California and they will be successful. All I'm, all I'm asking them to do is excel and uh, work hard. If they work hard, their goals, they can attain it at Moore Park Community College for sure. How can they be in touch with you, Coach, and make application? So they can send, uh, uh, go into uh, Moore Park themselves uh, and uh, go in. We have uh, uh, 
the they can go ahead and register. We have uh, P. Diaz at Ventura County Community College uh, Department, and um, so they can just go right through there, or even on the press release, I put my own cell phone on as well, so they can call me directly. Okay, and that, uh, by the way, if you'd like more information, you can also call the athletic director uh, directly at 805-378-1480. Uh, Luis Sanchez, the college president, has been uh, 100% behind this effort. And I'll tell you what, it's been a grassroots effort with committees formed and the decisions made. But the positive news, Moore Park College, with the tremendous history it has, will once again hit the mats, bringing with them its five state championships and 27 conference titles, looking to continue that after its brief time out. But back on the mats with Lindley Kissler at the helm of this program. Lindley, congratulations, and thank you so much for everything you're bringing to the program and everything that uh, I'm sure will come out of Moore Park. We'll look forward to continuing to tell the story. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. For all of us at Takedown, I'm Scott Casper, and our very special guest is one of the legends of the sport. You take a look at his history while at the University of Iowa, and he and his brothers, absolutely, they were bags of hammers. That's what we called them. They just kept on hitting <laughs> Nike hot seat special guest, Lindley Kessler. Lindley, thank you so much. Best to everybody at Moore Park. Thank you. Thank you.